You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film Esther, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? I remember when this video came out, by the way, and it was just another example of Jada Pinkett's antagonistic ways. She comes off as a bully towards Will. She's a manipulator. She went live without him knowing. You're dealing with an A-list actor. For the last couple of decades, he's been at the very top. And this is what this woman decided to do. She decided to go live on social media and forced him to be a part of her video. And then she tried positioning herself as a victim at the same time by saying, oh, look what I go through. No, look what he's going through. But yeah, this is just another example of how Will, he's been embarrassed by his wife over the years. And this is not the only thing, it's been so much stuff happening. Will reportedly checked himself into a rehab to handle the stress that he's been dealing with ever since that slap. But I really don't think that Will connected the dots yet. The problem is him allowing his wife to control him. This is another reason why respect must be established from the beginning and maintained throughout. And whenever there's a breach, it needs to be corrected. And sometimes the only way to correct it is to get rid of it. Will Smith indeed made the worst decision of his life by marrying this woman. You could argue that he probably would have been better off with the first wife. Jada Pinkett, she's been out of order. She's been a liability to their marriage, his career, and now his life. I do believe that Will is under a tremendous amount of pressure, but this is a very important learning lesson for everyone watching this. The person that you decide to lay down and have kids with, the person you decide to marry, you have to make sure you make the right choice. That decision is so important. It could be the difference between having a great life or having a miserable life or throwing away your whole life. And then you have August Alcina out here. After his entanglement with Jada, he's still out here trying to stick his head out and get some attention. He released a new song since the whole Oscars incident where he referenced the whole entanglement, talking about how he put a spell on people, on you and your ancestors. Like, what are you talking about? I'm telling you, you really have to be careful who you lay down with. And I do believe it was Jada who put a spell on him. And now all her wicked energy is all through him and then he's just passing it back to them. I really just want August Alcina to go inside the house, close the blinds, and don't come back out until 2030. Shut off his Wi-Fi, his phone, everything, because we don't need to see him on social media at all. But yeah, this is what happens when you marry a liability. So many red flags there, but Will ignored all of them. Now here he is in his 50s, he should be able to enjoy his AARP card, and instead, he's out here dealing with drama. That's it for today's episode of The Old and Restless. I just can't. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. For anybody who's ever been through something, how much do you have to lose in order for you to wake up? And do you believe Will is going to be able to get out of this sunken place? Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film Esther, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell?